Jennifer Roberts here with an X-Plane 10 mobile tutorial. Today we'll take a look at setting up a short flight plan in the FMS of the fully enabled MD-80. I've started a flight with the MD-80 already running in the Hawaii area. We're going to set up our flight plan from runway 08 left at PHNL to Hana Airport or PHHN runway 26. First, let's clear the scratch pad by pressing the clear button. Next, press the flight plan key to invoke the flight plan page. Use the keypad to type in our origin airport, PHNL, then press the button to the left of the origin data field to fill it in. Use the scratch pad again to enter PHHN, then press the line select key next to destination to fill it in as well. We'll go ahead and enter an optional flight number, using the same process as before. Press the exec button to activate this segment of the flight plan. Next, let's program the departure. Press the departure arrivals key for the index page. Press the button next to departures to see the list of departure options. Our runway is here on the first page, but you can also use the next page or previous page buttons to move between the pages. Press the line select key next to RW08 left. Now we are on the standard instrument departure procedures or SIDS page. These provide the optimum solution for the transition from the airport terminal environment to the en route phase of flight. The SIDS that use our chosen runway of 08 left are displayed here and will choose the MKK4 departure. On the next page, the transition waypoints are displayed. Press the Next Page button to select the Pulps transition. Click the Exec button to execute it. This flight plan will have no en route waypoints because the departure and arrival airports are only a short distance apart. Instead, we'll jump right into programming the arrival, so press the Departure Arrivals key again. Press the Line Select key next to our destination airport PHHN. If the Standard Instrument Arrival Procedure, or STAR, is available, it would be listed on this page. This airport only has the RNV26 option available, which is an RNAV procedure. This requires the aircraft to be equipped with a GPS, which ours has, so we'll select it, then pick our transition on the following screen. We'll select Pulps again, then press the Exec button to execute the instruction. Now we need to check the entire flight plan and repair any discontinuities. Press the Legs button, then the Next Page button to page through the flight plan. We have a discontinuity on page 2, which can be repaired by connecting the waypoints around it. Press the Line Select key next to Pulps, then the key next to the discontinuity line to fix it. We'll go back and look through the entire flight plan. And there are no further discontinuities, so we'll press the Exec button again to execute our instructions. So that's how to enter a flight plan in the X-Plane FMS. Remember these steps are mostly the same on the desktop version of X-Plane, where you can also find the extensive FMS manual in the instructions folder of your install. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.